who would try mm -hmm. to inform jurors of what their full uh, rights and duties right. were under the law. And so they passed a law that would not force the judges to tell juries about that, but would prevent them from making recriminations against attorneys who did. Right. But here in Michigan, we have case law right on point, um, and all Mr. Wood was doing was exactly that. He was saying that here's information about your rights as a juror, and this is information the judge won't tell you about, which is exactly what our case law says. The judge won't tell them about it, but jurors have the right to exercise this power. And that's all he was doing. So this is completely legal. They may not like it, and I understand that, but, you know, the answer to speech is not arresting people or shouting them down like on college campuses these days. The answer to speech is more speech. Yes, you know, if you exactly. think you're right, and if you think you have a better you know, uh, take on an issue, well, then be persuasive and stand up and give your speech. And, of course, I think the judge in this case was in a unique position to exercise his speech. He could have instructed the jury or given curative instructions or done all, he had all kinds of options. He didn't have to arrest our client for simply exercising his constitutional right. It really is ridiculous. It's going to be interesting to see what happens, because if they decide to go ahead with this case, they're going to be caught in the uncomfortable catch-22 position of having to have a jury trial where uh, they're going right. to have to uh, explain to people what this is all about during nullification. Right, exactly. Now, and you mentioned the hearing on Tuesday. It's actually been moved to Thursday morning. Okay. And at this point, now another issue has come up because we received the police reports uh, late yesterday. And in the police reports, it came out that when our client was brought into the courthouse and then arrested in the hallway, uh, the prosecutor of the county was also there. Mm. And, he questioned, and he questioned our client prior to him being uh, arrested. Now, we don't have much time, but I understand you subpoenaed the judge. Yeah, we actually subpoenaed the judge, the mag magistrate who set this ridiculous bond, and the prosecutor and the assistant prosecutor, who police reports indicate they were involved in this whole process before the arrest. So we've subpoenaed all of them to come as witnesses at the hearing next week. So that should be interesting also. That should be very interesting. Thank you so much. We're going to be back in touch with you. Thank you so much, Mr. Kalman, and thank you for what you're doing to uh, keep free speech and the Bill of Rights alive in your area of the country. Thank you. You guys have the exclusive for, which is a product called Deep Cleanse. And why I'm so excited about it is it's a unique formula, almost like the iodine crystals. We have two unique products that nobody in the world has. One of the most amazing ingredients in the world, and it's called Shilajit. And it's actually known as blood of the mountain or rock sweat because thousands of years ago, as a matter of fact, this ingredient was only given to the elite of the elite. Thousands of years ago, up in the Himalayan mountains and in Tibet. And we wanted to put this in, in stuff for, for a couple of years, but we couldn't get an organic form. Right. I mean, so I, let's explain. I mean, we, this stuff's so good, we couldn't put it out for years. Right. So I had to actually, it's kind of like the iodine crystals, finding a source deep in the earth that we could get the cleanest source available. But in Tibet and in Nepal and in the Himalayan mountains, Thousands of years ago, they found, they watched these monkeys. And during the summer months, the monkeys would go up into the mountains. Now you're being racist against monkeys. And they would pick this black substance from the mountains. And so uh, in Russia, they actually, it, it, it grows in Russia in the mountains and in the Himalayas and only in the summer. And Chilajit is actually the decomposition of seven, up to 7,000 different medicinal herbs. So it decomposes, all these different herbs decompose in the Himalayan mountains and the volcanic soil up there. And what happens in the summertime- So it's almost like an oil up. from- Yes, it's high in fulvic acid, it's high in humic acid. Because they're always claiming out. oil is really from decomposed animals and plants. There is some oil that is based from fossils, but most of it's really abiotic. But so, so this is a true fossil uh, source. I mean, explain it to me. It is. A, it's really the decomposition, like I said, of over seven thousand different medicinal herbs and plants. And it, and with the rocks and the pressure deep in the mountains, it freezes and. And during the summertime and the pressures build it up, it oozes out. It oozes out. So it literally oozes out of the mountain. It's like rock sap. It's like rock sap. It's black and it's highly nutritious. Uh, even in the 1980s, when the Olympic athletes in Russia were accused of being on steroids, they found out that they were actually been given shalajit because it, it works as an anabolic as well.
and it builds muscles. It's a big dose in there. The second big main ingredient in there is a volcanic zeolite concentrate. And this, what this formula is designed to do, the shilajit and the zeolites have a real strong negative charge. All the metals and chemicals and PCBs and VOCs have positive charges. So these go in, they grab it, and then they safely eliminate it through the body so you can become healthy. I mean, the, this is an amazing formula. I wish I actually had it, but because this was an exclusive InfoWars Life product, you're the only one in the world that has this formula now. And, uh, you know, there is going to be a limited supply available when you sell out because you can only harvest this once a year. How do people take it? How is it recommended that this be done? Just a daily, daily dose? Yeah, daily dose. Uh, the instructions are on the label. You know, of course, I, I kind of modify it for each individual. It depends on what your lifestyle is. I mean, the, honestly, the best thing to do is for you to avoid all these chemicals and toxins in your environment and try to identify them and start slowly reducing them. But personally, I, I'm going to probably take it every day, every other day, and I'll probably go with about a dropper full to maybe two dropper fulls. Uh, and I and I, li I don't expose myself to any chemicals. Infowarslife.com. Please also support our local AM and FM affiliates, support their local sponsors, or become a sponsor and spread the word. Because these aren't just great products. This is how we fund this independent operation. We're not taxpayer funded like MSNBC or NPR, and neither is your local station. So support them, folks. This is a war. <laughs> Well, someone finally did it. Someone finally called out Hillary Clinton on her hypocrisy. A woman actually said, hey, you know, you keep saying that rape accusers should be believed. What about your husbands? Hey, that all rape victims should be believed. But would you say that about Johnny to Broderick, Kathleen Wiley and or Paula Jones? Should we believe them as well? Well, I would say that everybody should be believed at first until they are disbelieved based on evidence. Hillary no likey that. She doesn't like being called out on her hypocrisy. Do you see how awkward she was sitting there? Uh. So I'm sure she's going to say, well, I already answered that question. Moving along. But you know what else Hillary doesn't like? She doesn't like being the butt of your jokes. And that's, of course, why we have the Make Fun of Hillary contest. Make Fun of Hillary and defend the First Amendment. So here are some of your submissions. And, of course, we're going to be announcing the winners here in just a couple of weeks. from your server? What, like with a cloth or something? No, not really. But we can figure this one out. We all cringe when we see you smile. It's kind of creepy when you stare for a while. I know you freak when you leave Bill at home. Sometimes you just gotta leave it on the phone. And I thank you for being on a life. By his own admission, while people who risk their lives, we have a right to report it to an unemployment We want. Thank you. But you know, Hillary tells us that there's guns running all over America. There's just guns running everywhere. So I, I bought a bunch of these nets and I'm passing them out. So would you be willing to volunteer like for the next 10 hours and just walk around with a net? And when you see a gun, you'll just kind of swoop it up? You'll come back empty. <sighs> You're good. But, but there's supposed to be guns. You know, Hillary says there's guns running all over America. So this is a net to try to catch them. There's guns running all over America. She said there's guns running all over America. Bam! 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 That's why I support marriage for lesbian and gay couples. I'm going to give you a quote okay. about marriage, and I want you to tell me who you think said. Marriage has got historic, religious, and moral content that goes back to the beginning of time, and I think a marriage is as a marriage has always been between a man and a woman. Who said that? I'm going to tell you who said this quote. <laughs> Hillary Clinton. 
not just straight people getting married, but gay people who want to announce their unions. Do you think New York State should recognize gay marriage? No. I believe that marriage is not just a bond, but a sacred bond between a man and a woman. Free speech? How dare you think you can have free speech? I know you want to have free speech. Don't you take a piss out of me, you goddamn income poops. I stand for what is holy. I am the goddamn goddess. How dare you? Can you see what it's done to me over these years? I am the only one. I am the one that you should listen to, should vote for. I am the only one who can have free speech. You're the only ones. You must do as I say. And don't you take the piss out of me. And don't you listen to them nincompoops at Infowars, because they're just goddamn brainless. Infowars. You hear me? Infowars? How dare you? How dare you be right? Oh, man. Um, how dare you? You're just bad. You're bad and you go to concentration camps. I mean, um, you'll be disappointed. No, um, we'll correct you. We will correct you because we are right. I am right. Hillary Clinton is right. I am right. No free speech for any of you. You listen to me. Infowars.com. Must be. 